All right, what sort of message could you leave? And by the way, this could be by voice message, it could be by email, it could be by video, it could be by text, it could be, it could be by a handwritten note. I'm going to use really word for words stuff I've learned from other people. If Carrie bought a car from me, I would call, email, text, video, note, basically the same message to her six or seven times a year. And if I got her voice message, it would sound like this. Hey, Carrie, this is Steve from TriStar. No need to call me back unless there's something I can do for you. Need me to set a service appointment? I'm here for you. This is Steve from TriStar, your guy. Have a great day. Now, is that annoying? Okay. If you got that text, if I you say your car guy, not your guy, if the husband listens. <laughs> okay, your car guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is your guy, you know. What do you mean this is your? He's your guy. Where, 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 where were you? Okay. The other day? So I stand corrected. Yeah. So I stand corrected. You have car guy in here, so I think you have. Yeah, that. I think I do too. Yeah, you're, this is Steve, your car guy. Yeah, right. I think that makes a little more sense. Got like Okay, that. fine. <laughs> um, now the next message is if I knew Chris was in the restaurant business. Hey Chris, Steve, sorry I missed you. Um, no need to call me back if there's something, unless there's something I can do for you. This is Steve, your car guy from TriStar. By the way, I remember you're in the restaurant business. Make no mistake, I'm sending people to you every chance I get. Have a great day, this is Steve. Now if you get that message using different mediums, not just voice message, but text, email, regular mail, if you send that message five, six, seven times a year, are they going to forget who you are? No. And you're going to become that person's favorite car salesperson of all time.